Hello, in this series of tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a case in Open from scratch. So we're going to do geometry, meshing, set on the case, and we're going to set a turbulence case, and we're going to do some something. The first step is to create a geometry. For that, we're going to use this tool and shape, which is a web-based CAD software. You can create your account, so you can create a free account that have all the capabilities of a commercial CAD software. So actually here you have three levels of account. You have the free one, then you have the academic one, which is also free, and then you have the commercial one. All of them have exactly the same capabilities. The only thing that the free one, all your documents are public, you need to share it. The other two, you can have private documents. So what we're going to do is to create this geometry, the helmet body is where you will now for benchmarking. So from scratch, we're going to do this geometry and then we're going to do the mesh plot. We are going to show you how to do it using the software. So I have here already my my drawings. Uh, you can download it in the link that you see in your screen. So starting from here, let's log in into Unshape. So I already have my account set up. Sign in. And here you have the initial interface. So created by me. So you just get used, it's very intuitive. One thing that is very important is that you go here, manage account, and your preferences, you can set up your default units and also how you use your mouse buttons and everything. So uh, I will get the default actions and let's create a document. I will give it this name, have it open phone and I will create a public document. So you can download it afterwards. By the way, here you have this button. You also you can import geometry. So you have your solid war edges, step form, and there are many others proprietary form that you can import and work with that. So create the given name of well, a have an open phone, and I would make it a public document. So now setting up everything looking that everything is on the, in the white browser so in theory you can use any device a tablet smartphone whatever you have if you have a working browser so to create this geometry we take a look at what we want to do so there are many ways to create this solid part i will do it in my way probably it's not the best way or probably you would like to do something else so don't just get used to that and and what you wear, what you, you wear around. So what I want to do is that, let's use my reference system, I want to do something like that. So I want the flow entering this direction, so, and then I want to set axis vertical. So I want to work like this. So the first thing is that I will create a sketch here in the top face, and then I will do an instruction. So I will create this chart here, top face and then I will do the extrusion I will have this solid then I will create another drawing here to cut this area here I will also use a manipulation in my solid to create this radius here and then I will create the stills so first things we create a sketch in the top plane so come here select the plane now I can do my sketch um, something important that here in my drawing, I have all my dimensions in, in millimeters. So, just to make everything easier here, uh, you can, I would change the units. You can change it as well while you are in the document. So, you look here, workspace units. And I will choose millimeters just to insert those numbers. Zero. So, remember, open phone works in international system So, it doesn't matter the units that you use here. So, what is important is the the, the actual data so probably later we, we we need to do some scale so the first thing is that i will create this rectangle i have my dimensions there so i come here i choose the tool i put it here look at that you have already dimensions there and to give it the actual dimensions you select the tool here select the extra one to use my dimensions here are this one and you see that now my sketch is bigger than the screen so you can do here you can click right click zoom to fit and then just translate it middle button and then we keep giving dimensions so 
thirties dimension. I have my value here. And well, I already have my rectangle that I can use as a base sketch to do this solid. But now I want to center this rectangle in the middle. So I can select the all the zero coordinates here. And what is beautiful here that you can do also mathematical operations. So you put that dimension divided by two, and then you have that in the middle. And you can do exactly the same here. So 144 divided two, and we have it our body center. So click here. Now we go to 3D, and the next step will be just do the extrusion. So you set it here. You select the sketch, and then we give it the dimensions. I know that my dimensions here is this one. It is in the right direction, and I have my solid there. Okay. And now I need to do the other, some other operations to get the actual body. So the next step for me will be just to create here in the back this cut. Okay. So I come here, I select this face, and I want to do a sketch in this face. Now that I'm here in the sketching mode, view normal, you can zoom in, so now, and I will do my sketch here. So I just put it here. See that I have my constraint. So this constraint there means that it's coincident with that line. Then here, coincident with that point, and coincident there. So what I need to do now is give dimension. So I know that this line there, this is the dimension. And I need to give also an angle. I will put there 20. Okay, so I will erase this one because also I can show you that we can do things in the in we can put variables and have everything parameterized. So I can can here where do I have variables? I don't have variables here. No, I don't have variables here. So that is for solid. So I have 20 degrees there and it's okay. Uh, and in 3D mode, remember I told you that you can insert variables. So I can put it here. I give name, angle, and okay. And then I give it a value of 20. Okay, so now I have my actual variable. So it's a good idea to create those variables first. So I will, I will move it because I want to apply this variable here in the sketch. So I go back to sketch. And here in dimension simple, I can, to use that variable, you use the hashtag numeral or pound symbol, do I know how you call it, and the actual name, angle. So now you see that we apply that variable. And if I change it here, 30, you will see that all the changes are done automatically. So now we have everything parameterized, or at least that feature parameterized. So our next step will be to cut this part of the body here using this sketch. So I can use again this feature. I select that sketch and I want to do this that illustration up the next phase. Uh, I change the direction because it's the wrong one. I want to remove that material by the way. And I'm done. So the next operation that we need to do is to fit it here in this face. So I select this face. I select the fitting operation. And I know that the radius of this one is 100. And here we are. This point we have. You see, you can recognize your body, but what we're missing here is the base, the support here, the steels, as you see here. So as you see, we already have almost everything we need just to create that one. So again, I can choose this face, view normal two, and then I can sketch in this face. So remember that you can direct a sketch here or you can create a construction plane. So you click here and you create your construction plane 
So for instance, you want to do some sketching here, you can create construction plane here, but also you can create sketch directly there. It's up to you. I will choose to sketch directly this face. So that sketch and view normal, right click, okay, send to fit, and I here. So I want to create here those supports. I so I will do like this. I will create one circle there. I will give it dimensions, which I know the diameter of that one is 30, and also I know that this dimension. So I give it this dimension that is 372, and then also I know the vertical distance. So I insert that value as well there, which is 31. So at this point, I have my first geometry, and then I can create a second one. Again, I can give it diameter dimensions. But in this case, instead of giving all the horizontal and vertical dimensions, I can apply a constraint. So I can say that I want a horizontal constraint. So automatically, this one will align with this one, as you see here. And the only dimension that I need to give now will be this one. Okay. And I know that this one is 201. Okay. So put it there. And at this point, I have those two supports. Now I want to create the, the other two. So. I can do exactly, I can follow exactly the same step, but let's create a, a, a construction axis and then we can mirror everything. So probably it is this way, probably it's not the one, just to show you a few features. So I will create a line here. So see that this symbol is indicating me that it is in the middle of that line. Then here again, it is in the middle there will snap out automatically and I have this line but I want that line to become a construction line I don't want to use to do my body my my solid operations to access the line mall also you press escape so to convert this one to a construction line you click here select that one okay click again and see that now this is a construction line that I can use to mirror parts so let's apply a mirror. That I have it here. So mirror and see that it will ask you first, tell me what is your mirror line. It's this one. And then should it the entities to mirror. Okay, and I mirror those two entities, the ones I wasn't tested. And I just realized here that also yeah, this is not the right diameter. Sorry. Okay, so everything is okay. okay. Escape there. That's it there. And now I want to do this treasure just that is cash. This will be the support of the body. Just select this cash. I want 50 millimeters. And at this point we're done, we have our body, but something that probably you realize is that you see that the support is, is, is negative, this values here, so we, we want to apply a transformation and have everything in the positive area, okay, of my working plane. So I can apply here transformation, play transform to this body and I want to translate and I know that I want to translate it in the set direction 50 millimeters okay and you see that you have it there and now we have our body okay positive dimensions in our vertical so at this point we're ready to go so what we can do now is, is export this body in a steel format but before exporting I want to show you that also we can compute properties of so this one centers math and, and volume 
inertia is one so as you click here in your part you will need you will see here that you have this balance here so as you click here you will show prop you will see the properties the volume surface area but you don't have any center of mass or inertia you need to assign a material so it's to assign a material just right click here <coughs> here assign a material just choose your material in this case it doesn't matter you can put any material we'll put aluminum okay so this one okay you go back here and now you see half your mass according to your material your volume surface area they don't change and also centers math also doesn't change according to the material only if you have different materials in this case is uniform okay at this point we can export this part so you so again right click and look at it you have this option here export you select your format so you see they have all this format so i want to export it to stl i want to have it in text format and here also we can choose our dimension so remember we we're working in millimeters as i put here meters it will do the scaling automatically so let's put meters i want a good resolution i want to download this okay you have a few options you give it a name okay and well save file now you save it and i have part of you here already open and you can open that file that i have it somewhere here my document so i will go to the search downloads and i have here that one so you see we have here our beautiful steel you see that it's a high quality steel and you can check the dimensions here as you see when we save in STL we convert it to meters and you have the right units so at this point we have the geometry we can go and use snappy x mesh or cf mesh we're going to use wall bus tools